guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper over at Royal Appleberry. And today, as you can see, I got some presents. Well, not really presents. I bought them myself. But I said, you know what, Kenny? You don't have enough botanicals. So, I think I do now. <laughs> so, these came in the mail today. I'm going to be using the pink corn flower because I just thought these were brilliant. How pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know. Oh, I'm like, why did I think I bought some blue? I already have blue. I had a little bitty baggie of blue. I got some pink rosebuds. I got some red rosebuds. And why did I get two different? Who knows why I got two? I think, hell if I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess they're the same. Maybe I just really wanted some red rosebuds, but anywho. Um, I got some peonies, dry peonies. I got blue mallow. Isn't that gorgeous? That's such a brilliant blue. I love that blue. And then I got some jasmine buds right here. So, you'll be seeing a lot of botanicals. Oh, and they gave me a free packet of my favorite, lavender. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of botanicals on my soaps just because I think they're gorgeous. They really, really are. And I'm just going to get right into it. So, the colors I'm going to be using today, I'm going to do a squeeze bottle. On a tilt in my tall skinny i've never done it before wish me luck but i'm going to be using a wine red and a like a, a burnt orange and then i'm going to use a little bit of cream for the base fragrance is going to be patchouli from rustic essential this is just straight patchouli there's no mix it's not a blend um i do have a blend and this came from when i went to rustic essentials uh in september so yeah um i'm just gonna hop right into it Alright guys, I um, guess I should probably start moving a little bit faster. So here's my mold. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see. But I'm going to tilt it right here. Got these little sticks from Gabe. And I'm going to start with my burgundy first. I'm going to try to, well I guess, oh this is not going the way I thought it would go. I guess I gotta squirt harder, yeah. Okay. Okay, got a little bit of wind. But um, after a few passes, then I'm going to um, fast forward because, of course, you guys know this is going to take forever. So I'll just do it like this. Shake this light up a little bit. And now, I'm not sure if I like these colors, but too late now. <laughs> I think it's going to turn out fine. That's just me. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward now. Enjoy the music.
Okie doke, I'm back. That took a very long time, but um, <laughs> um, that's about as much as I'm going to be able to get out of um, the other bottles. This one's still pretty full, but, and it's running out too. And I have no clue what this is going to look like, none whatsoever. <laughs> so, um, I didn't really have any particular design in mind, it just... I just knew I wanted to do it um, on a tilt fit, on a tilt with a squeeze bottle. And now I changed my mind, I think, on the color uh, flower, botanical I want to use. Sorry about all the noise. I'm just trying to get this to come out so I can fill this mold up. Okay, so, um, I don't know what I want this top to look like, and it has actually loosened up, <laughs> which is funny, because it was getting a little thick right after I poured it, but you can see how loose this is now. So I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like. For a brief moment, I wanted to actually, you know what I mean, I wanted to take a skewer to it, but I'm like, nope, I didn't just do all of this just to take a skewer to it. But I do believe it would be glorious if I did. And I end up taking that uh, baggie out of my burgundy color because that was just taking too much. It was taking too darn long to fill it up because I had to fill up like five or six times. So um, right now I'm just squeezing the air out of this bag so I can get the rest of this white out. And actually I'm going to use this as like a squeeze bottle or a piping tip just to get the rest of this soap on top. Yeah, let's put that in my container. Yeah, that's much thicker of course, but it's okay. At least I'm not wasting. Because of course I'm not going to leave the top like this. I just want it to, I don't know. Some design I think that I want the rest just white on top. So I'm going to go ahead and finish scraping this out. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It wasn't too bad of a day for me. My brother-in-law is going to come over and finally, well, let's just say he said he came and looked today and said he's going to put all my electrical outlets in for me because uh i really need them <laughs> like my workstation um i'm like constantly swapping out bulbs and cords because i can't use everything at once i'm not trying to burn down my soap studio but <laughs> i'm just doing the best i can so hopefully but he travels a lot so i can't you know get mad at him i mean he's out of town like every other day but i really 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 hope that he can get to me soon okay I'm going to turn that this way and then I'm going to figure out which botanicals I want to use. So this soap is going to be a little on the shorter side just because um, I don't want that much color on the top. I want mostly cream. Now I'm going to figure out, I just said that, but I'm going to figure out which botanicals I'm going to put on top what color, because I don't know. I think this purple would be kind of stunning, like a strike of color, I think. I was going to do, well, hold on, Gay past me the, yeah, what I originally wanted to do, I'm unsure. I think that's too matchy matchy. Um, those are too big for what I want it for. Okay. So I think, which one do you think? Cornflower or mellow? Blue mellow? I don't know. I like the cornflower better, I think. Do you? On that. I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't want to match. such a hard decision this is what I originally said I was going to use but now I'm not sure okay 
I wish you guys were here so you can tell me which one to use. Um, I don't know if I like that too much. Let me see how big. Can you do both? I don't, I don't know. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm not going to do the Mallow Flower because they're pretty big. And I don't want them that big. So I'm going to go with the Pink Corn Flower as I had originally said. But I just decided to make it a little bit taller. I think it's going to look weird if I don't. And where's the gosh darn spoon when you need one? Okay. Um, that's not the one I wanted, but that's the one I'm going to use. And I know some of you are probably screaming, don't do it! Because I'm messing up the design, but I'm gonna. And it's like a little too soft. But I did read the reviews and they said that this patchouli actually slows down Trace. So it was expected and I'm not going to wait here forever for it to um, um, set up. I just, I don't want to. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. Now I got my groove. And I think that the flowers will look better down the center with a higher peak. That's just my personal opinion. I know I just messed up with all that work I did, but I just felt like it was the right thing to do. You know what I mean, guys? Okay, so a little pop of pink cornflower. I just want it right. Oh, yeah, you know what, Gabe? I think you were right. That's gorgeous. I don't like glitter. No glitter. I guess some guys like patchouli, you know. And just rinse the petals. I off. like patchouli. I know you do. Me too. And I don't want to make it too girly. Alright, I think that's good. I know it's plain guys on the top, but... I think uh, the, the top doesn't need to be crazy swirly just because the inside is going to be a lot going on. So, I know I don't have on gloves. Don't do what I do, okay guys? Don't do what I do. She's a professional. Well, you've been, <laughs> even been a professional. I shouldn't be doing that, but thank you, honey. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is just kind of take this stick and roll those botanicals down in there because I don't want them all falling off okay oh, this stuff is still very very fluid okay guys that's it I'm going now um, I will see you in the cutting video and if it is your first time watching my channel hello I am so food and happy you found me Oh, memory cards, memory cards, memory cards. <laughs> Which I kind of expected that one to go full just because I had been recording for a very long time. So, instead of coming back and boring you guys bits, I decided to just do my mini loaf. And, um, there it is. So, I'm going to slap a little bit of corn flour on that one as well. I don't know. If I'm gonna, okay, yeah. It's working! Wasn't gonna be sure if I was gonna be able to get it down the middle, but that's really pretty. I'm glad Gabriel came down here and gave me some guidance because I almost went to rogue on this bad boy. And I'm gonna slap a little bit more right there just because it didn't have any. Okay, so as I was saying, um, thank you for joining my channel if you've never watched before. I'm glad you decided to stick around. I hope you want to come back over and over and over again because I do post videos every Sunday. Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry, and tonight I am coming with a cutting of my patchouli soap. Now, um, I will say this patchouli is like very, very light. I was expecting it to be heavier because patchouli is a heavy, earthy 
uh, fragrance but this one is uh, more on the light side and maybe because this soap has been out of the mold for like four days so maybe um, you know once it's starting to cure out because I, I read really good reviews on it um, throughout all the reviews were pretty good and it said it smelled like patchouli but I can't pick that up it's I mean it smells like it, it does but it's just very very light so um, I'm gonna give it a couple of days and see what happens but I mean a light patchouli isn't a bad thing Gabe said he can smell it I can't and I like patchouli so I mean I, I keep saying I can't I can smell it it's just very light um, so I'm hoping that once uh, it's cut and it starts to cure out the smell will actually come out so I'm gonna cut this on his side because the botanicals and I actually wasn't even gonna cut this tonight because guys I am pooped oh this is cool and I mean really there was like no need for me to turn do it on a tilt because it looks just like a regular I guess tiger swirl and like out as a loaf like this it looks like bacon <laughs> and I was like um those are some bad color choices that's an ugly soap but actually I like it so I'm so glad the inside looks a lot better than the outside but yeah um I will give you guys an update on this um if I can remember <laughs> on how the patchouli ends up settling I believe it's gonna do well because actually I had another soap that I just cut it was a remake so there was no sense in me filming that but um, it was very very light to like cut it and then the fragrance just burst out of there so I'm thinking the same is going to happen for this because I mean hell it's patchouli so okay it's a little bit stronger but so yeah I'm expecting this to just kind of blossom as it cures out and these cuts are really pretty I was like so concerned this is going to look like bacon and even as soon as I got finished turning the camera off I'm like what have I done I used the wrong color but I actually like it and of course for me um, when I think truly my mind goes instantly to deep purple or something but I didn't want to do that because it's been done to death so I that's why I decided to go with these colors but seriously I mean hell this looks just like a regular tiger swirl so there was no need for me to tilt that bowl none whatsoever and then my um batter was a little thicker than I wanted it but that was not a problem I'm very happy with the way it looks it was just really the effort that I put into it. It was no need for it. So, guys, I'm up to my eyeballs and soap. Just trying to prepare because, of course, those of you who are always here, you know what time it is. It is craft fair time. But now it's craft fair times five for me. Normally, I lose my mind over one. <laughs> so, you guys can only imagine. I mean, seriously, only imagine what I'm doing for five craft fairs and I have like three custom orders I have a bridal shower uh, soap to do uh, I got an order to do for those and then I have um, a wholesale and then I have um, a custom order from a returning customer so I'm a busy girl and <laughs> that's on top of packing orders and also guys um so you you guys know i've been making soap like crazy so right now what is listed in my shops right now um because i know if you go there it was a lot of well by the time you guys see this video i keep forgetting i'm like six weeks in advance but oh this one's pretty 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 but yeah hopefully by the time you guys go there all of these will be uh ready so today is actually October 2nd, is it? October 3rd. So the end of October, these will be ready. Um, yeah, so I think pretty much all the soaps that I had previously, I should have mentioned this in an earlier uh, video, but yeah, they'll all be ready. So what you can find over there, hopefully, Hopefully they don't all, well no, hopefully they do all sell out at the craft fair. <laughs> but I know a lot I will be taking. So what you'll find is my morning tea. You'll find gilded leaf. You'll find um, morning tea, gilded leaf, uh, southern bell, which is my, um, my, which is my cherry lemonade, which is a favorite. Um, near, near perfection, which is the one that Gabe made with Artica 
you're, you're gonna find quite a lot of soaps some lavender soaps as well for those of you who like lavender so head on over there check us out find something good for yourself or as a gift because the holidays are rolling around sure are but yeah so you're gonna find a lot of soaps and like I got so much stuff around me right now fragrance oils for custom orders uh, soaps I just cut sample um, that I need to package for orders Woo. and guess who's not helping me Gabriel <laughs> well that's okay you know what he's just like hey that's not my thing he likes the fun stuff not the work but um I, I always get it done I'm gonna get it done yes I am but I'm very very pleased with the way this looks because it doesn't look like bacon kind of still does but <laughs> It's a pretty bacon then. <laughs> I do like this soap. I think it's pretty charming actually. So, um, I don't have a name for it. I don't know. It'd probably just stay patchouli. Because <laughs> why not? <sighs> I'm getting loopy because I am tired. It is late. But I decided, you know what? I need to get these soaps cut because I'm running out of room. Oh, and also you'll find um, my man bun. He's back. <laughs> um, that soap had like such a great, great response when I made it. So he is back and I made him in tall skinny this year. So, um, okay, well, somebody's going to get the back of some bacon. There you go. Because <laughs> that's one inch exactly. But um, yeah, I did a revamp. I didn't do a revamp. I did a re remold. Um, my man bun and I think he looks pretty darn dapper and tall skinny so I'll show you one isn't that gorgeous I love this so this is what it looked like last year I still got a little in there which one do you guys like better the short one or the tall one um, leave it in the comment section below I would love to know what you think I don't know I, it's kind of hard to say they look they both look good but I'm just on my tall skinny kick. So, team short and fat, team tall and skinny. Let me know in the comments section below. If you're new to my channel, hello. I am so freaking happy you found me. Um, thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out with me, watching me cut these soaps, listening to me ramble on, because I know I am rambling because I am uh, tired. But um, that's okay. It's going to all pay off. That's too thick. But yeah, so if you have liked what you've seen so far, please be sure to give a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. If you are, again, new to my channel and you would like to become a part of my stinking awesome crew, guess what? It's absolutely free. So all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you will instantly become a part of the stinking awesome crew. And what is the stinking awesome crew? That is the awesome sauce, amazing subscribers that I have here because you guys are, as the kids say, lit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, um, this is what Hunter would normally come in and say I'm lame, but you know what? Royal Appleberry Channel is lit, right? Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. If you didn't watch the making video, it should be a pop-up right about now. Just click on that and it'll take you right over to the making video. Um, hit that notification bell so you get notifications whenever I make new videos and post new videos, should I say. So, me and my loopiness, we are going. I'm going to um, take off and do some more soap stuff. Try to organize this a little bit, you know? You know what I mean? And then I will see you guys in the next making video. So, until then, bye dolls! <laughs>